Good morning, welcome back to Shawnee Hills Workshop. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in Kentucky. The sun's rising, it's glistening off the dew on the grass. It is just, these are my kind of days right here. I've got a busy day today. I've got a helper coming over and we're gonna start working on cleaning up the fence line on the north side of the property. It has been long neglected and I'm gonna try to clean it up, reclaim a little bit of that and see if we can't get the property looking good. When I first bought the property, it was just a little bit grown up, but it has not been one of the high priorities over the past few years. And so it's really started to get out of control. All right, so we got the trailer pretty much loaded up. I'm gonna get it up to the house and uh, then come back and get uh, the pickup truck so we can load up all the branches in the pickup truck and we should be able to get some work done today. Today's pretty much gonna be an all hands on deck type day. I got a helper coming over to help on the fence line. My daughter's gonna be mowing the grass. My other daughter and son are gonna be weed eating and blowing off the grass and it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a work day. So I guess I need to stop talking and get to work, don't I? Are you being a lazy dog? Are you being a lazy dog? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you wanting some loving? All right. Want to go to the barn? Let's go to the barn. Take a look at the garden this morning. Got some bell peppers coming in. I'd say it's probably the size of a golf ball. Got uh, some zucchini, which our plant broke off there, and I don't know how it's going to make it, but very harvested a zucchini. Couple hot peppers. We need to pull our broccoli. We let it just go on up. It got too hot for it and we let it bolt up and flower and we just need to tear it out. My neighbor just finished bailing the hay yesterday and uh, I just I absolutely love it when it's just been freshly bailed. The smell just smells so good out here. I also like how it just instantly makes the property look so much bigger. And I like the look of the rolled hip or the rolled bells too. Wish we could just leave them sitting there year round. Yeah, it looks nice. I enjoy it. I enjoy walking back here in the mornings.
like a summer without sun You know what's wrong to be with you I never felt you wanted to Like all those parties without fun Like a summer without sun Just found some uh, tomato cages back behind one of the trees in the brush. I think I can take advantage of those right now. So now you're sitting by the water and I'm still on the line I wish that I was right beside you I hope I'm on your mind and oh I'm missing you
well, it's about lunchtime. We've probably got a little over 100 feet cleared. I'd say more, even more than that, probably close to 200 feet. But we are just now starting to get into the hard stuff. I just had to take down a uh, tree that the top had fallen out of quite some time ago. And I found another tree that had fallen onto my neighbor's property that I didn't realize it happened. Um, taking the fence down there, so I'm gonna have to uh, see if I can't hook my tractor up to that and pull it over onto our side and uh, chop it up and then we have to mend the fence. Kind of the whole point for this is the fence is in disrepair and I know that it needs to be repaired, but until I clean it off, I can't even see what needs to be repaired. So we found several spots already that you know, need to be patched or replaced. So I'm gonna grab a bite to eat for lunch and we'll get back to it this afternoon and see how far we can get today. We got a lot of work done today. We've got a lot more to go. So we just got a few hundred feet up into here. One thing we've been running into is these vines. They actually come up. This right here is not a board. That is a vine that's coming up in between the fence and they are thick. I'm not exactly sure what type of vine it is, but you can see it's the same as what's on this tree right here. We also found a down tree. Don't know when it happened exactly, but it's going over onto our neighbor's property. I got the first eight foot of it so, or the first eight foot or so of it pulled out, um, but then the tractor broke down again. So if you like these videos, click that thumbs up button. And if you aren't already, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. If you didn't like the video, click the thumbs down button. Please tell me why so I can get better.